Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to look inside uh, this bag uh, which from the Dice Lab, which contains a set of their um, Opti Dice. Um, it's a you know standard uh, gamer set of dice. Uh, but one thing that's unique about them, and I thought was really cool, is that they are perfectly balanced. I like dice. I've got many, many just random collections of dice from over the years. And uh, one thing I've always noticed, and I'm sure you've noticed too, is that uh, on a six-sided die, normally the one is opposite the six, the four and the three are opposite, and the five and the two are opposite. And on a go on good dice, they are going to be that way. However, um, one thing you'll notice is that uh, on the six side, um, the pips, you have six pips carved out of it. And on the one side, you only have one. So while the opposite sides have the same number of pips, uh, when totaled together, uh, there is a balance issue. So one thing that they've done here, which pull these out and show them to you real quick, is you'll notice the kind of a unique font on them. Kind of an old, uh, looks like a little digital uh, LED screen or something. Okay. And you get, so you get 12, you get two 10 sided, so you can have percentage. Uh, one neat thing they've done here is the only one that doesn't have the font is the 20 sided because the faces are too small to do that. Just gonna dump those out there. So you get a you get a standard uh, let's see you get a four sided, you get an eight sided, you get a six sided, you get two ten sided, uh, twelve sided, of course, and a twenty sided. So you're gonna go and close here, and you'll see that each of the numbers on the dice are made up of 10 points. So we have a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip those over. Now with the 12, one, two, three, four on the one, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on any face, the numbers are made up of 10 little pips. They've also respected the normal two, five, six, one. It's easy on the six, but here we've got two and a 12 sided die. Opposite of that should be a 11. So you get 12 and one is 13. So six, uh, that's nine pips. And then they add a decimal point to make the one extra pip. They do that on the nine as well. Which is great because it also shows you which side is down. So they've pretty much thought of everything. There's the one, two rows of five. The eleven is obviously two rows of five. So they've done the same with all the other dice as well. And even on the ten-sided, uh, you should have uh, ten on ten and one, and then four. And let's see if let's see here. That's interesting. The four and the seven are side by side. So I wouldn't have expected that. Ten and one. Yeah, that should be eleven. So there's the ten. And there's the nine. So I'm not sure how those are how those were determined. Let's check this one here. With an eight-sided, you should have the seven and the two. So opposite that is of course the two. So eight it's the one. For some reason on the 10 they didn't do that. Um, were they consistent here? On the 8. Okay, so they were consistent in that the number, so there's probably a method to this. One thing you'll notice here is, um, again you can roll these for percentage dice, the 10s, instead of using a different color, the 10s uh, Tins dice just has the uh, uh, pip at the top, right? So that tells you it's the tens, or you can roll them. So um, they are pretty cool. I do like them. They're a little larger than normal, which I think is good. Now the twenty, the twenty sided is distributed in such a way that the if you take any number here. Uh, in the little triangle and then take the 
numbers from the vertices. So we've got a 17, we've got a 9, and a 6. So we've got 15 and 17, that adds up to 32. And now you flip it over here, you got 7 and 6 is 13, and 19 is 32. So they're going to, they distributed the numbers like a magic uh, square kind of thing where it's going to be 31 or 32, so they average out, so 24 and 7 is 31. Here on the 14, we've got 6 and 5, oh no, 9 and 5 is 14, plus 18 is 32. So, uh, very, very, a lot of mathematical thought went into these, and that is, that is pretty cool, especially if you're concerned. They do their best to also, with the size, helps reduce uh, imperfections inside the die. Of course, nothing's perfect, but uh, that is that is what the Dice Lab's goal is. Got another couple of interesting dice here too from them. This is a uh, multi-die and a perfectly weighted balanced 30-sided die. Now, the only thing about 30-sided die is I don't know when you'd use it. You don't have a lot of D30 rolls that come up. So, but here's an example of the other die you can get from them. And they are at, uh, we'll put the URL on the video here so you can go right to it. They have uh, truncated D8s, which is basically uh, the D8 here with the tops cut off. So it rolls a little more smoothly. Uh, they got a D3, which is an odd shaped little bad boy there. D48s, D60s, D120s, D24s, and then this is the multi die, which is this one right here. And what it does is it allows you to, uh, you can roll ones, you know, like flipping a coin, one or two, uh, like a, rolling a, excuse me, like a D2, a D3, or a D4. So you roll that, and so you've got a one, you got a two. Uh, the two in the circle. Uh, the one is the four sided. The two in the circle is the two sided, like flipping a coin. And then the one, I believe, and the three is the three sided. Okay. So we roll a three, or we roll a one out of a four, or a two out of two. So there's just some of the very cool and nifty dice that you can get from. Dice Lab, the Dice Lab.com. Put that right there. And you can see it. So check them out. And you can get several colors. I think I've got like five different colors that you can choose from. And all these different varieties of very cool dice, including these skew dice, right? Which are really awesome. And they uh, are shaped very strangely, but apparently they, uh, the probability does not change. So they're kind of a novelty thing, but uh, but they won't work. So anyway, and they come in this nice little uh, felt pouch too. So uh, so they're all about style. So anyway, that is the Opti Dice from the Dice Lab. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.